Hi, this is John Reed of JohnERP.com. I've been uh, in the process of this series of rants about why Facebook is bad for small businesses. So I go on these rants, and then I try to learn more, just because I don't want to be missing out on what's happening at Facebook in a business context. And in my world in SAP, I don't see a whole lot happening that really doesn't happen elsewhere, like LinkedIn or Twitter or the community network. So... For me, in SAP, I still don't see Facebook as very relevant. But when I look at Facebook and the problems, and you can see in my other videos some of the things I've pointed out, I think fan pages become really helpful if you have a big brand. For example, SAP. Uh, people like affiliating themselves with brands on Facebook. I'm shocked by how many people sign up for like Starbucks or whatever. and I realize maybe they get some coupons or discounts. I would never really sign up for stuff like that. I almost consider it like just signing up for junk, but some people really are attached to large brands and Facebook pages work really well for critical mass of volume. And part of that is because you have a hard time, e you can't really email people, so you have to have critical mass in order to push it out there. So those are pages. But small businesses can't really uh, develop that type of critical mass. So I'm always looking for more ways of, of getting a better handle on what people do on Facebook. So I attended another uh, podcast and webinar on this topic and found out about someone who would really leverage Facebook. And then I found out to do so, they violated two different Facebook terms of service. Because they were talking about how they use their personal profiles to connect. And their personal profiles are honestly the best way to connect with people. And the problem is that it's not, you, you can't have multiple profiles, but this person had different ones like, I think one for golf or tennis or whatever, and then they had 5,000 people. And on your personal profile, there's a lot more you can do. It's much more powerful, your ability to message people, for example. But that actually is one of the issues, I think, with Facebook, which is that when people are friending each other, they're not necessarily opting in to receive a bunch of what they would consider to be spam or junk, even if the other person thinks this is an important event to me or some business lead I'm pursuing. To me, it's spam, and I think to a lot of people it is as well. Uh, so I become kind of conscious of this because as much as I want to dislike Facebook, I did end up starting a local group that grew to 2,000 members, and I realized for local events, that's a pretty good publicity channel for me. So here's my personal recommendation about small businesses and Facebook, which is, aside from advertising, which is a whole separate discussion, um, I think I think local events are really the sweet spot for actually getting something out of Facebook. But I think they have to be executed in the right way. And in my opinion, the way you do that is by creating a group. And here's the value of a group. If you create a group, with groups you have pretty powerful capabilities to create an event within that group and then message everyone in the group about that particular event. And the cool thing about that is that then you're not harassing people constantly that are supposedly your friends, pushing them to go to this event or that event you're involved with. And I find that kind of stuff really irritating. And So with groups, you don't have to do that. Now, you might, as a one-time thing, message all your friends and say, hey, join my group. And I think at least then that's a little more low-key because you're saying as a one-time thing, join up, and the implication is you're not going to keep bothering them. Then if they sign up for the group, then you have them in the group. And by definition, I think when you're opting into a group, you're kind of saying, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay to hear about updates from this group. So as long as you use some discretion about how often you do that, I think people are open to that. Uh, groups tend to not be very easy to track unless you're messaging people. But, you know, you do an event once a month or whatever. And, and that way, Facebook can become kind of powerful. And the other cool thing is that with events, people can even kind of see it from outside the system if you – big public event and so you can use other channels to promote that event from within Facebook and have one coordinated RSVP and so that's been a useful tactic for me and so what I did in my last local event I had a decent turnout and I basically emailed all the group members on Facebook sent them a message and they RSVP'd and I only messaged the whole group once and then anyone who responded with like a maybe uh, I sent them another reminder like a week before and those who said yes I think I sent them one reminder and then as far as my friends were concerned I didn't hassle them at all uh, I didn't want 
you know, to bug my friends about stuff. If they want to be a part of it, they can. You know, they join the group. Uh, but what I did do is I did put it on my profile the day of the event. And so then it was uh, something where if people were online, they might see it, which is like right on their news feed usually if they're not – unless they've screened me out of their news feed. So, uh, so anyway, I think that's a fairly – discreet way of doing it and yet you can still be pretty aggressive within the group and that kind of solves that perplexing question of what are we opting into when we become someone's friend on Facebook and kind of takes away some of that resentment of like well I'm kind of your friend I don't really want to break up with you or screw around with my privacy settings but I don't want all your message junk all the time so am I am I changing my mind about Facebook being good for small businesses no, I still think mostly Facebook's a waste of time for most small businesses, but I do think that events and groups are a little bit of an exception if they can be well executed, and I'm, I'm seeing a little success there for myself, and so I'm going a little bit back on my original premise, and if I learn more about what you can do that I think is effective on Facebook, I'll let you know. In the meantime, I'm running for cover from the 90% of people who don't pay any attention to this crap and just meshes the heck out of you all the time. Anyway, this is John Reed of JohnnyRP.com.